what's the deal with retirement? You finally get time to relax and settle down, but you are hot to trot right out of the place that you've been living in for the last few decades or so. Today, retirees aren't just settling down in any old place. They're picking up, packing up, and moving across the country. Where are they going? Why are they going there? What's so special about these places? Well, what's so special about this place? Well, in 2025, retirees are on the move like never before. And some of the destinations might just surprise you. Surprise me. So let's dive in. Oh, and do me a favor and take a second to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that way you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks. And by the way, this list is in no particular order. First up is Austin, Texas. Keeping it weird, one retiree at a time. Austin is the land where cowboy hats and hipster beards somehow coexist. We figured out how to harmoniously coexist. It's the city that refuses to grow up. And that's exactly why retirees are flocking there. After all, if you spent decades working, raising kids, and generally being responsible, maybe retirement is your chance to finally embrace a little weirdness. One of Austin's biggest selling points is its no state income tax policy. Let's face it, money talks, especially when you're living on a fixed income. Texas doesn't dip its hand into your social security, pensions, or retirement accounts, which means retirees can keep more of their cash for important things. You know, like hobbies, traveling, or buying an endless supply of barbecue sauce. Honey, I did everything but baste you with barbecue sauce. <laughs> This financial freedom is a game changer for retirees who spent years stretching their paycheck and pitching pennies. And then there's the weather. And oh, what a gift it is. Austin's winters are about as mild as your grandmother's chili recipe. While the rest of the country is digging out of snowdrifts or braving icy winds, Austin retirees are sitting outside, sipping margaritas, and wondering why anyone would willingly live anywhere north of Dallas. The city's year-round sunshine and warm climate makes it perfect for retirees who want to spend their golden years outdoors, whether that's kayaking on Lady Bird Lake, hiking the Greenbelt, or just working on their tan. But Austin isn't just about sunshine and saving money. It's about culture and community. This is a city where retirees can swap the golf cart for a seat at one of the countless live music venues. From blues to country to indie rock, Austin's music scene is legendary. Retirees can relive their glory days with a front row seat at the Austin City Limits Festival or explore quirky events like the annual Bat Fest, where thousands of bats take flight at sunset because nothing says retirement adventure like a bat themed festival and then there's the food oh the food austin isn't just a city it's a buffet of flavors from legendary barbecue joints to funky food trucks retirees can spend their days eating their way through the city and let's not forget tex-mex imagine waking up to breakfast tacos spending your afternoon at a chili cook-off and capping off the day with some queso and margaritas now if that doesn't sound like a perfect retirement i don't know what does austin texas the city where retirees are keeping things weird and wonderfully unconventional it's not just the live music tacos, or the no state income tax that's luring retirees. It's also about ensuring that they can enjoy their golden years with a safety net of quality health care. Because let's face it, what's the point of having all the brisket and margaritas in the world if you're worried about your ticker giving out in the middle of a two-step? Next, St. Petersburg, Florida, where retirement meets paradise. St. Petersburg, Florida, where retirees don't go just to live, they go to thrive. This Gulf Coast gem has long been a hotspot for snowbirds, but in recent years, it's become a magnet for retirees who want sunshine, sand, and a little bit of culture sprinkled in for good measure. It's like Florida grew up, put on a snazzy pair of sunglasses, and decided to retire in style. Now, let's talk about the weather. St. Pete isn't 
called the Sunshine City for nothing. This place gets a ridiculous 361 days of sunshine a year. That's right. If you live here, you might need to invest in a pair of sunglasses that actually stay on your face instead of those drugstore ones that you keep losing. The consistent warmth means retirees can ditch the snow shovels, heavy coats, and seasonal depression. Instead, they spend their days soaking up the rays, walking along the beach, or just sitting on their front porches wondering why they didn't move here sooner. Now, speaking of beaches, St. Pete has some of the best in the country. Clearwater Beach is regularly voted one of America's top beaches with powdery white sand and crystal clear water that practically begs you to dip your toes in. Then there's Treasure Island, where retirees can kayak, fish, or just lounge under an umbrella while listening to the gentle crash of waves. It's the kind of place where you stop wearing shoes with laces because, frankly, who needs them when you've got flip-flops? But St. Pete isn't just about sand and surf. It's about culture, too. This city has an artistic soul. And retirees here aren't just beach bums. They're gallery hoppers and museum goers. The Salvador Dali Museum is a must-see, showcasing the surrealist genius's most mind-bending works. And downtown St. Pete is filled with quirky art galleries, murals, and cultural events that'll keep things lively. Who says retirees have to spend all their time playing golf when they can explore an art district instead? Then there's community. St. Pete is home to a thriving retirement population, which means it's easy to find people who share your interests. Whether it's a bridge club, book club, or just a regular old sit around and gossip club with plenty of senior friendly activities from yoga on the beach to volunteer opportunities, retirees here stay active, engaged, and most importantly, social. Our next stop is Asheville, North Carolina, the mountain town for the young at heart. Asheville is proof that retirement doesn't have to mean slowing down. It can mean speeding up your social life, creative pursuits, and outdoor activities. Nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains, Asheville has an irresistible charm that draws retirees looking for something a little more off the beaten path. It's part artist colony, part outdoor paradise, and 100% awesome. So let's start with the scenery, which is so stunning it practically dares you to go outside. The Blue Ridge Mountains provide a jaw-dropping backdrop to life in Asheville. Whether you're hiking through the Pisgah National Forest, driving along the Blue Ridge Mountain Parkway, or simply sipping coffee on your porch, the views are nothing short of spectacular. And in the fall, the foliage turns into a kaleidoscope of reds, yellows, and oranges that make even the grumpiest retiree feel a little warm and fuzzy inside. Asheville isn't just for nature lovers. It's for creative souls, too. The city's River Arts District is a haven for artists with studios and galleries galore. Retirees here can take painting classes, learn pottery, or just wander around pretending they know what postmodern means. I know what it means. And if you are more into music than visual arts, Asheville's live music scene has you covered. From bluegrass to jazz to indie rock, there's always something playing in the city that seems to hum with a creative energy. Then there's the food and drink scene, which is nothing short of legendary. Asheville is a foodie's dream, with farm-to-table restaurants, cozy cafes, and enough craft breweries to keep you busy for years. In fact, Asheville has so many breweries, it's been dubbed Beer City USA. Imagine spending your retirement sampling local brewed IPAs, stouts, and sours while chatting with friends at a dog-friendly beer garden. It's that kind of retirement that makes you wonder why you've wasted all those years drinking light beer at office parties. But what really sets Asheville apart is its community vibe. The city has a laid-back friendly atmosphere that makes it easy to meet people and feel at home. Weekly farmer markets, yoga in the park, and quirky festivals like the annual Leaf Festival keep retirees active and involved. It's the kind of place where you can walk into a coffee shop and leave with a new friend, or at least the recommendation for a killer hiking trail. 
And our fourth location is Charleston, South Carolina. Sweet Tea, Southern Charm, and Coastal Living. Charleston, South Carolina is where history meets hospitality, and the result is is nothing short of magical. It's a city that whispers to retirees, slow down, take it easy, and enjoy the ride. And retirees are listening. It's really all about the journey, isn't it? (laughs) After all, who wouldn't want to live in a place that looks like a romantic novel come to life? And let's talk about history first, because Charleston is practically dripping with it. The city is like stepping back in time, minus the powdered wigs and chamber pots, the cobblestone streets, the pastel antebellum homes of Rainbow Road, the horse-drawn carriages. Charleston's charm is undeniable. For retirees who love soaking up history, Charleston offers an endless opportunity to explore. Fort Sumner, where the first shots of the Civil War were fired, is just a boat ride away. The historic plantations with their sprawling gardens and majestic oaks, are perfect for an afternoon stroll and daydreams about the simpler, albeit complicated, past. But Charleston isn't just for history buffs. It's for beach lovers, too. Retirees here have easy access to some of the most beautiful stretches of sand on the East Coast. Folly Beach, with its laid-back vibe, and Isle of Palms, with its pristine shores, are both just a short drive away. Whether you're into paddleboarding, fishing, or simply parking your behind in a beach chair with a good book, Charleston's coastal proximity is a huge draw. Then there's the culinary scene, which is arguably one of the best in the country. Charleston is a foodie's paradise, offering everything from low country staples like shrimp and grits to elevated southern cuisine that would make your grandma proud. And don't forget about the sweet tea. It flows like water here. Retirees can spend their evenings dining at waterfront restaurants, enjoying fresh seafood, and toasting to the good life with a bourbon-spiked peach tea. Charleston's pace of life is another major selling point. This is a city where nobody is in a hurry, and retirees love it. After decades of deadlines and commutes, Charleston invites you to slow down and take it easy. Porch swings, sunsets over the water, and leisurely strolls along the battery are all part of the package. And let's not forget the community spirit. Charleston is known for its friendliness, and retirees here often comment on how easy it is to make friends. The city offers plenty of opportunities to get involved from joining local clubs to attending festivals like the Spilato Festival USA, a world-renowned arts celebration. It's a city that feels like home even if you're new to it. Our fifth city is Boise, Idaho, the affordable gem with outdoor adventures. Boise might not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of retirement hotspots, but maybe it should be. The city is like a well-kept secret for retirees who value affordability, safety, and a connection to nature. Plus, it's got potatoes, lots of potatoes. One of Boise's biggest draws is its affordability. For retirees on a fixed income, the low cost of living here is a game changer. Housing is reasonably priced, property taxes won't break the bank, and you can still go out and eat without having to take out a second mortgage. This means retirees can enjoy a comfortable lifestyle while stretching their retirement savings further. Whether you're downsizing to a cozy bungalow or looking for a modern condo, with mountain views, Boise has options that won't drain your wallet. But Boise isn't just about saving money. It's about living well. The city's outdoor offerings are nothing short of spectacular. The Boise River Greenbelt is a 25-mile path that winds through the city, offering retirees a scenic spot for walking, biking, or just enjoying the fresh air. Nearby, the foothills provide endless opportunities for hiking, while Bogus Basin offers skiing in the winter. Retirees here don't just sit around. They stay active, soaking up the natural beauty that surrounds them. Boise also boasts a strong sense of community. It's the kind of place where people wave at strangers, neighbors look out for each other, and retirees feel safe and welcome. The city offers plenty of opportunities to get involved, from volunteering to joining local clubs. And with its growing cultural scene, including farmers markets, art festivals, and live music events, there's always something happening. 
And for retirees who like to keep things low-key, Boise offers plenty of peace and quiet. It's a clean, safe city with a small-town feel, making it an ideal spot for retirees who want to slow down and enjoy the simple pleasures in life. Whether you are fishing along the Boise River, enjoying a picnic in one of the city's many parks, or exploring the nearby mountains, Boise is a retiree's paradise. Rolling in at number six. I I think we're at number six. Scottsdale, Arizona. Luxury living in the desert. If retirement is about treating yourself, then Scottsdale, Arizona is the ultimate indulgence. This desert city is like a five-star resort that you never have to leave. It's sunny, warm, and packed with enough golf courses, spas, and fine dining to make you forget all about the snowstorms that you left behind. The weather in Scottsdale is a dream for retirees. Escaping colder climates, with over 300 days of sunshine a year, you can leave the heavy coats and snow boots behind for good. Winters here are mild, making it easy to enjoy outdoor activities year-round. Summers can get hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk, but that's what air conditioning and margaritas are for. Scottsdale is famous for its luxury amenities, and retirees here are living the high life. The city is home to some of the best golf courses in the country, including the TPC Scottsdale and True North. Even if your swing is more rusty shuffle than Perfect Eagle, Scottsdale's courses are designed to make everyone feel like a pro. And when you're not hitting the greens, you can pamper yourself at one of Scottsdale's world-class spas, from massages to facials to mud baths that make you feel 10 years younger. The city knows how to spoil you. And then there's the community vibe. Scottsdale is full of active adult communities designed with retirees in mind. These neighborhoods offer amenities like pools, clubhouses, and organized activities, creating a built-in social network for newcomers. So whether you're into yoga, bridge, or pickleball, you'll find your people in Scottsdale. Our seventh location, Bend, Oregon, the outdoorsy retiree's paradise. Bend, Oregon is the kind of place that makes you want to lace up your hiking boots, grab a beer, and never leave. Nestled in the shadow of the Cascade Mountains, Bend is an outdoor lover's dream and a haven for retirees looking to stay active, social, and maybe just a little bit adventurous. Let's start with the natural beauty, which is off the charts. Bend is surrounded by mountains, rivers, and forests that practically beg you to go outside. The Deschutes River runs right through town, offering opportunities for kayaking, fishing, or just sitting by the water and soaking in the view. Nearby Mount Bachelor provides skiing in the winter and hiking in the summer, making Bend a year-round playground for active retirees. But Bend isn't just about the great outdoors. It's about community. The city has a laid-back, friendly vibe that makes it easy to feel at home. Retirees moving to Bend often talk about how welcoming the locals are, whether it's a neighbor inviting you to a potluck or a stranger recommending their favorite hiking trail. It's the kind of place where people actually look up from their phones and say, Hi which feels like a miracle these days. Finally, there's the low-key lifestyle. Ben's small town charm and slower pace of life make it an appealing spot for retirees looking to escape the hustle and bustle. Whether you're attending a farmer's market, exploring the vibrant art scene, or simply enjoying a peaceful evening under the stars, Ben offers a retirement lifestyle that's equal parts active and relaxed. Ah, Savannah, a city so charming, it can give you a toothache. It's all moss-draped oak trees, cobblestone streets, and pastel-colored houses straight out of a Hallmark movie. This isn't just the city. It's a slow, sweet love letter to the Old South. Retirees aren't just moving here. They're falling in love with it. So let's start with the Savannah Historic District, a living, breathing time capsule. Walking around Savannah feels like stepping back in time, minus the pesky smallpox outbreaks. The city's 22 historic squares are like little pockets of serenity surrounded by Victorian architecture and shaded by grand old trees. Retirees can 
spend their afternoon strolling through the Forsyth Park, gazing at the iconic fountain, and wondering why they wasted all those years working in a soulless office building. Savannah also knows how to take life nice and slow. And retirees eat that up. It's the kind of place where nobody's in a rush. And everyone seems to have all the time in the world to sit on a porch swing, sip sweet tea, and tell you their life story. After decades of punching clocks and fighting traffic, retirees in Savannah finally get to relax. The pace of life here is so laid back, it's practically horizontal. Then there's the food scene, which is nothing short of heavenly. This is the South. So you're looking at biscuits that melt in your mouth, shrimp and grits so good they'll make you weep, and pecan pie that could double as a national treasure. Retirees aren't counting calories here. They're counting the number of fried green tomatoes they can eat before someone else takes the plate away. Oh, fried green tomato. But Savannah isn't just about food and history. It's also a hub for community and culture. From the Savannah Music Festival to the famous St. Patrick's Day Parade, which is so massive it might as well just be a public holiday, the city offers endless opportunities for retirees to get out and socialize. Farmers markets, art shows, and quirky events like the Savannah Bananas baseball games keep the calendar full and retirees engaged. Whether you're into music, food, or just people watching, Savannah's got you covered. And let's not forget the affordability. Savannah offers a lot of bang for your buck with relatively low housing costs and Georgia's retiree-friendly tax policy. No social security taxes? Check. Generous retirement income exemptions? Double check. Retirees here can live comfortably on a fixed income while still enjoying the finer things in life. Next up, and just west of Savannah, Georgia, we've got Nashville, Tennessee. Music City, with a soul. Nashville isn't just for wannabe country stars and bachelorette parties. It's a mecca for retirees who want to keep the party going. This city is more than just honky tonks and cowboy boots. It's a thriving hub of music, culture, and southern hospitality. And let's be real, retirees in Nashville are probably having more fun than they ever did during their working years. First and foremost, there's the music. This is Music City, after all. You don't have to be a country music fan to appreciate the endless entertainment options here. From the Grand Old Opry to the Rhineman Auditorium, retirees can catch live performances from world-class musicians on any given night. And it's not just country. Nashville is home to blues, jazz, rock, and just about every other genre you can think of. Even if you're tone deaf, the city's vibrant music scene has a way of making you feel alive. But Nashville isn't just about music. It's about community and connection too. The city has a small town feel, despite its big city amenities, and retirees often talk about how friendly and welcoming the people are here. Whether you're striking up a conversation at a farmer's market or joining a local volunteer group, it's easy to feel like you're part of the Nashville family. And let's talk about affordability for a second. Tennessee is one of the most tax-friendly states for retirees, with no state income tax to worry about. That means your retirement savings stretch further. Whether you're spending it on tickets to the next big concert or treating yourself to a stack of Nashville hot chicken sandwiches, and let's be honest, you're definitely going to need some some antacids for that. And if you're looking for a little more excitement, Nashville's culinary scene is booming. Sure, the city's famous for their hot chicken, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Retirees can indulge in everything from farm-to-table dining to international cuisine, all while sipping on some of the finest bourbon you'll ever taste. Now, swinging back up the North Coast to Portland, Maine, coastal beauty and New England charm. Portland, Maine may not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of retirement, but maybe it should be. This small coastal city is a hidden gem for retirees who don't mind a little chill in the air and a lot of lobster on their plate. Portland combines New England charm with a laid-back lifestyle that's perfect for those looking to slow down without getting bored. Let's start with the coastal scenery, which is nothing short of breathtaking. Portland offers rugged shorelines, working harbors, and postcard-perfect views of the Atlantic. 
Atlantic Ocean. Retirees can spend their days exploring the city's lighthouses, walking along the eastern promenade, or hopping on a ferry to visit one of the nearby islands. It's the kind of place where the sound of waves crashing against the rocks becomes your daily soundtrack. But Portland isn't just about the views. It's about seafood. This city is a paradise for foodies, especially those who love fresh lobster, oyster, and clam chowder. Retirees here don't just eat seafood, they make it a lifestyle. Imagine spending your retirement years dining on lobster rolls so fresh you can practically hear them whispering, thank you for eating me. Portland also boasts a vibrant arts and cultural scene. The Portland Museum of Art, local galleries, and live theater performances keep retirees entertained year-round. The historic Old Port District is a treasure trove of boutique shops, cafes, and restaurants, offering plenty of opportunities for retirees to spend an afternoon wandering the cobblestone streets and soaking up the atmosphere. And let's not forget the community vibe. Portland has a small-town feel with a big heart. Retirees moving here often talk about how easy it is to connect with others, whether it's at a local book club, a farmer's market, or neighborhood potluck. The city's friendly, welcoming spirit makes it a place where newcomers feel at home almost immediately. And then there's the seasonal appeal. Yes, winters are cold, but that's what fireplaces and cozy sweaters are for. Plus, the city's picturesque fall foliage and vibrant summer festivals more than make up for the occasional snowstorm. Retirees here don't just endure the seasons, they embrace them, finding joy in everything from apple picking to summer sales. So what did we learn? Apparently, retirement isn't all about shuffleboard and sitting in a recliner anymore. Retirees are out there living their second lives like they've got something to prove. They are finding their own slice of paradise, whether it's in the mountains, by the beach, or in the middle of the desert. And now that you know the best places for retirement in 2025, and you would like to know which are the worst states for retirement, then you will want to watch this video next.